let us discuss about withdrawal reflex it is a protective reflex painful stimulus from skin muscle tendon or joint uh, elicit this reflex when this reflex is elicited withdrawal of with when the, when this reflex is elicited withdrawal of withdrawal of body parts takes place okay withdrawal of withdrawal of body parts by flexing the limbs takes place okay it is a protective lef- it is a protective reflex painful stimulus from painful stimulus from skin tendon muscles activates tendon or joint activates this reflex okay and this takes by by withdrawal of body parts by flexing the limbs takes place okay and i hope this uh, next reflex circuit it is a polysynaptic reflex it is a polysynaptic reflex the receptors for this uh, are skin muscle the receptors are nociceptive receptors in the skin muscle tendon or joint okay nociceptive receptors means these are pain pain detecting receptors which are present in the skin muscles tendon or joint these access receptors the afferent neurons are type 3 neurons and type 4 neurons okay type 3 and type 4 neurons are afferent neurons even type 2 neurons also they can carry uh, they can also elicit the response but the weaker response but the re- response is weak this type 2 type 4 and type 3 res- uh, neurons these are called flexor reflex afferents okay these are called ref- flexor res- flexor reflex afferents let us see the, how the circuit is we'll try to elicit the res- reflex See, this is nociceptive receptors. These are nociceptive receptors. Nociceptive receptors. They carry impulse. Impulse. They carry. no receptor receptors they carry impulse to the spinal cord okay they carry impulse to the spinal cord in the spinal cord in the spinal cord in the spinal cord it divides into three branches it divides into two branches okay in the spinal cord this afferent neuron this divide into two branches okay this first branch again divides into two branches okay divides into two branches first the afferent neuron it divides into two branches the first branch again it divides into two branches okay the first uh, if discuss about this uh, we will discuss about this uh, we will discuss about this branch how first branch it divides into two branches okay it divides into two branches the first branch it ends on the it ends on the interneuron it ends on the interneuron supplying the flexor muscles of its lateral side okay first branch it ends on interneuron supplying the supplying the its later, uh, flexor compartment of its lateral side the other branch the other branch it ends on interneuron which inhibit the extensor compartment of its lateral side thereby causing the flex causing the flexion of class causing the flexion causing the flexion of causing the flexion of its lateral side okay 
and the second branch second branch second branch it gone and it crosses the spinal cord to the other side okay it crosses the spinal cord to the it crosses the spinal cord to the other side it crosses the spinal cord to the other side to the other side okay the other branch it crosses crosses the spinal cord to the other side here it is here it is crossing the spinal cord okay it is crossing the spinal cord okay it ends on interneuron called commissural interneuron okay it it ends on interneuron called commissural interneuron okay this is commissural commissural interneuron okay this commissural neuron interneuron it divides into two branches here one branch it ends on the one branch it ends one branch it ends on the uh, alpha motor neuron supplying the extensor compartment of opposite arm and another branch it it ends on interneuron interneuron supplying the flexor compartment of uh, contralateral side thereby causing um, extension of extension of uh, contralateral limb okay this is about circuit and special features of withdrawal reflex are it is a protective reflex it is a it is a protective reflex it is a protective reflex it is pre potent means temporarily other when this um, reflex is taking place in the neuro in the spinal cord temporarily other reflexes are are stopped temporarily other reflexes are stopped when this reflex is going on okay and local signs the response the pattern of response depends on the site of the site and location of stimulus means if the stimulus is from medial side then abduction takes place if the mm, stimulus is from lateral side then adduction takes place that is that pa- the re- pattern of re- response depends on the nature and location of stimulus okay uh, this is next after discharge stronger even there is stronger reflex it causes wide and widespread and prolongs the response why let us see why this there is prolongation of response this okay what is the after reflex if there is stronger reflex there is widespread response and prolongation of response okay let us see the mechanism let us see the mechanism after reflex mechanism of after reflex prolongation of response is due to prolonged and repetitive firing of target motor neurons okay target motor why there is ta- uh, prolongation and repetitive firing of target neurons we will see there are two mechanisms for this why there is prolongation of prolongation repetitive firing of um, mo- alpha motor neurons there is involvement of many interneuron pathways of different length between afferent and efferent efferent neuron because you see there are many interneurons there are many inter there are many interneurons see there are many interneurons okay of di- uh, of different length so when there is less uh, if the pathway is uh, of less of less synapses then it can it can go to the uh, muscle very quickly if the number of uh, synapses are more in that pathway then the reflex the the uh, then the efferent goes efferent stimulus to the alpha motor neuron goes late that is the reason why there is prolongation of prolongation of uh, response and why there is repetitive firing see this repetitive firing is due to a a interneuron which directly arises from the which directly arises from the this is the interneuron this is the branch from interneuron 
which which arises from the interneuron this goes back and it ends on the it goes back it goes back and ends on the um, ends on the interneurons so that there is repetitive firing okay so there is repetitive firing this interneuron is called reverberating interneuron and this circuit is called reverberating circuit okay thank thank you for watching have a nice day